We're now going to take a quick look at the advantages of using templates and more specifically the advantages of using templates with macros enabled in them. So here I have three Excel spreadsheets, okay, and they all are slightly similar except for their file extensions. The first one I want to point out is this XLSX one, which is your traditional Excel spreadsheet. It's one that I'm sure you're all quite familiar with. The one we're actually going to look at, though, is the one above it, this XLSM, which is a macro-enabled spreadsheet. So this means there are macros running within this spreadsheet. So I'm going to open it up, and here it is. It's some sort of scoring system for a 2015 basketball competition. The way it works is there's a formula, and wherever there's a W, it adds three to that actual team's total. Okay, so formulas have been inserted onto this spreadsheet as well as it being formatted quite colourfully. Okay, so over here I can see the shortcuts for my macros. I've got a new team macro, control N, and a ranking macro, which puts the teams in order of their score through control R. Let's try both of these out. So control N and control N. Two new teams were added. Their rows have been perfectly formatted to be consistent with the rows above, and the formulas were also automatically inserted. And as you can see there, it's quite a long formula. So this would save me a few minutes for every team I put in. Let's say there are 150 teams. Okay, that would save me a whole gigantic amount of time. So macros have sped up the process of me just adding in teams. Let's now try out the ranking one. So I'm going to go Control R, and bang, my teams have been put in order based on their score, from highest to lowest. So I'm quite happy with both the look and the formulas running in this spreadsheet. So what I will do now is save it as a template. And as you can see, I already have saved this as a template as the third one on the list, basketball win-loss record. So this could be my foundations for setting up my 2016 competition. So let's open it up. But firstly, we'll notice it's an Excel TM, an Excel macro-enabled template opening it up, and the team names, I've gotten rid of them and inserted just teams 1 to 8. Once again on the side, I can see my macro shortcuts, and let's test out the new team one. So, Control N, Control N, okay, spot for team inserted, formatting is all consistent, and it's put in the scoring formula as well, straight away for it. So, I hope this helps you understand the advantages of making templates with macros enabled in them. This could be given to another district and they could use the same spreadsheet on their competition. I could use it for many years after inserting different teams and having different scores. So I can constantly reuse this template and it makes my life a lot easier and the actual things that I'm doing in this spreadsheet a lot quicker.